Hey, what's up friends? If you're like me and you're constantly trying to improve your methods for organizing your paperwork and your tools, this is a video I think you're gonna to wanna to watch. I have several Husky items as you can see right here. I have the mobile office right here for all your paperwork and your laptop and some tools as well. I also have this large tool tote right here and then this small parts canvas bag. It's like a parachute style bag. And then in addition to that, I also have this Husky 15 piece screwdriver set. I'm gonna show you the features and benefits of this and the amazing price and show you how it stores in some of these items right here. All right, so let's get this video started so we can see how to start organizing better. Okay, so we're back inside. I have all the Husky items I talked about earlier, including the screwdriver set. So let's start off with this little one right here. This one is the black canvas small parts bag. It has this drawstring right here. So that's what I was testing it out, trying different things in it. So this will spread open, kind of like a parachute like they mentioned. So they advertise that this will fit inside the five gallon bucket. So it fits down there. So it looks like you could probably easily get like probably four of them, I'd say. So this has 19 pockets total, pretty amazing. So there's a bunch of little small ones around the outside, 13 of those, and then six on the interior. So each one of these is completely divided all the way down. So if you want to have like one of these, like your plumbing bag, you could have all these copper fittings of one size in here, and another size in there, like elbows, couplings. And then around the exterior right here, you could probably fit some different pliers and stuff in there. There's a couple skinny ones right there for like pens or pencils. And then check this out right here. This is the barrel lock right here. So if you had that full of stuff, you can just pull that nice and tight. Use that little loop to lift it up. I could also see this bag coming in handy for electricians for like putting all the wire nuts, things like that in there, all the different ones. So I'd like to hear your thoughts. What would you use this for primarily? What would you store, what little parts? Let me know, please. The next Husky item we're gonna take a look at is a mobile office organizer. This one has the reinforced corners, as you can see right there. Looks like nothing will ever split there. Right, start on the inside. It has two interior pockets right there. It has four dividers. So you can put all your paperwork, your files, you can put a smaller laptop in there. Then inside here, there's a big area. So I don't know, maybe you could put your lunch in there. You, maybe you could put some extra clothes in there, like a change of clothes. You could uh, just general office stuff. And I can tell you my years of experience in business, I've signed a lot of contracts on a tailgate where we've met at a job site for some reason, or there's an inspector. A lot of times that tailgate conversation, you know, people stand on each side of the truck talking, and then we do the signature on the tailgate. That's happened so many times. So I can see something like this, having this along in your truck, that way you have everything that you need. All right, let's take a look at the outside. It has really nice zippers on it, and they are lockable. As you can see, those two right there go together. So you can put a small padlock if you don't want anybody going into your bag. In the front here, there's a nice clip for your tape measure. This is a nice storage bag. So actually, if you're looking Actually, I was thinking like for your cell phone or even like a laser distance measuring device. I've seen a lot of people going, getting some estimates with using a laser distance measuring device. So this will be a handy thing. It'll just fit right in there. And then room for some pencils and pens. On this side right here, there's a couple real nice carrying handles. I just noticed these two items right here on both sides. It looks like you might be able to clip on some type of strap somehow, like a shoulder strap. But for the most part, I think you're gonna carry it in front of you like this. The side right here has room for a couple water bottles. And right there is another open pocket for whatever purpose you have. Across the back right here is a strap so you can put this on the front seat of your vehicle and then you can run your seatbelt through it. I think that seatbelt idea is a really good idea because I've had my bag fall off the front seat. I just kind of had it sitting on top of something and then I had to slow down pretty quick and guess what? The thing tumbled in the bag, you know, landed on the floor. Fortunately, I keep my laptop in like a backpack or another padded storage bag. So this would be, if you have your laptop in here, this would be a great way just to keep everything from going and tumbling. What a mess that would be. <laughs> so great job Husky for thinking of that. 
This has room for a little small holder right here. I'm not sure if that laser distance measure would fit in there. It looks a little bit small for that. And then another mesh bag right here might be a good place to keep just like a scratch pad or something. So it's nice having this molded top right here so nothing will roll off the sides. I could see you doing some business on your tailgate and if you didn't have this molded, the pencil would roll off and go in between the truck and the tailgate and you have to fish it out. So this looks like a great idea right here. Okay, on to the next. This is the large tool tote with tool organizer. Let's take a look at the organizer first. Let's take a look at how this works. So you, you would put your most essential tools in here. So I'm just looking at some things I took off the wall right there. You might want to have some of your wrenches, some of your proper wrenches, depending on what kind of work you're doing. So this right here is kind of like a small parts thing. Maybe you keep your keys in there. So I'm going to put some of these Husky screwdrivers in there. So I just want to show you these Husky screwdrivers real quick. They're, first of all, easy to see which one you're grabbing because they're marked right there in nice big letters. If you look at the handle design, they're not completely round. So they call the high torque grip. So let me show you what I like about these screwdrivers, the fact that they have this flat side right there. So if you happen to be like working on a deck, so you have typically like a two by four railing going sideways. So let's say you just set your screwdriver down. It's not really gonna roll. Like if you have one that's perfectly round, it's just gonna roll right off. And that's what uh, I just recently discovered using another one, so then it just made my work go a lot slower because every time I'd set the screwdriver down, it would go rolling. So you don't have to worry about that with these. All right, if I can get this focus right here, you can see that's a square design. That also gives it some added strength. And then a great thing about their hand tools, they have a lifetime warranty. So if this thing ever breaks or something goes wrong with it, just bring it in, no receipt, no questions, they'll replace it for you. And the other thing I like about this set is having 15 screwdrivers, that just gives you a lot of choices. Sometimes you might need a couple of screwdrivers that are close to the same size. So you can easily put all the screwdrivers all the way across here. You can easily get a couple of screwdrivers in each pocket. Then over on this side, there's just multiple things, depending on what type of work you do, what, you, what your needs are. You can just zip shut. Then if you arrive at the job site and all you need is just these small tools right here, it has these two handles, you just grab it, you can easily carry it with you. Now, dun -dun -dun -dun, we are taking a look at the large tote. So after you bring in some of those other small organizers, and if you need to bring in like the next wave of tools, some of your bigger tools, then this right here is the one that has room for like some of your power tools and things like that. This one as well has the reinforced corners. That same tape measure holder right there. There's a pocket behind that. And then two other smaller pockets right there. But this one has like these five little feet on there. Kind of like a hard plastic, nylon plastic. I'm not sure what they're called. But anyways, they look like they would keep from scuffing something. This bag, I'm guessing with all the tools, might get a little bit heavy. So this uh, the feet right here looks like it'll keep the bottom from wearing and just give this a nice long life. All right, then it has these two handles on the top. Those go right together nice for carrying it. Or it also has these two side handles. Looks like if it gets really heavy, this is gonna be the way you're gonna wanna lug this thing around. Okay, in the very back, it's three open pockets for miscellaneous items. And then on the inside, this is where things get pretty interesting. And there's just room for all types of different tools, power tools. So this little pocket right here is just a good way to keep all your small things organized once again. Let's say you're doing a little bit of plumbing, you might need a PVC cutter. You can put that in there. Or if you need a tube cutter, that'll easily fit in there. So right away I can see how you're able to keep all your tools organized. Put like a crescent wrench in there. So then if you want to just start putting some of your power tools in here, you can do that. The torpedo level seems like a necessity. Made some knee pads. So there you go. All right, so I believe that that pretty well wraps it up. I'm hoping that this video right here is able to help you out to decide if these organizers are right for you. So if you find this video interesting or informative or helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.